This is the Epiphone Les Paul Modern in a really cool radio blue metallic finish. How is it? Let's find out. Okay, are you inspired by Gibson? I know I'm inspired by Gibson to buy an Epiphone because they're so much more affordable. Like four and a half times more expensive than buying this one. Quick disclaimer, I'm gonna make this disclaimer as confusing as possible. I bought this guitar as a regular customer from Sweetwater. This is not a Sweetwater sponsor video. However, I was given the funds to buy the guitar by a third party in exchange for doing some other work for them. Does that make sense? There we go. Hi, I'm Landon. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Click like on the video if you like the video. Share it around. Send it to your dogs and cats and everybody that likes stuff like this. And uh, turn on notifications if you want to know about new videos coming out. That's the best way, unless you just want to like creep my channel all the time. This is a deep dive video. And what I do in a deep dive video is I take a guitar like this, an electric guitar, and we close up. Oh my God. This is how it looks in person. I'm just letting you know. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm looking at my screen, I'm seeing the playback. This guitar looks amazing. Deep dive, we take the guitar, I open it up, take a look inside, get all the specs, play it, and I let you know my pros and cons and uh, what I think about these guitars. So first we'll start with a quick walkthrough. I'll just walk down all the specs on the guitar. Not super detailed, but we'll get into that later in the deep dive. Then we'll go into the deep dive. Why don't I just do it all at once now? We'll go into the deep dive and uh, we'll get into all the, the numbers and the, the stats and all the specs and all that stuff that people like to know about. Then we'll play it. I'll play it clean, I'll play it dirty. As a rhythm player, people are always like, can you do some crazy lead playing? I'm like, nope, I really can't. Singer songwriter, that's what I got. Take it or leave it. Just like saying to somebody, hey, can you go sing really well? And they're like, I don't sing. Oh, okay. One thing about it first. So this is a Sweetwater exclusive model. And that's why I picked it because I like the blue. It stood out to me right away, I was like, Holy man, look at this. They call it Radio Metallic. No, I gotta get the name right. They call it Radio Blue Metallic. And I think the first thing that attracted my attention was the word radio and I'm fixated on Radiohead, so right away I'm like, oh, it's a Radiohead guitar? No, that's not even, doesn't even make sense. But uh, I Googled Radio Blue, doesn't come up with anything. So I'm not sure what the reference is in that case. I don't care because it looks really, really cool. It's like a sparkly blue but not crazy sparkly, kind of like just borderline crazy sparkly, just like half sparkly. But look at that. Look at it. I always say that. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm holding it. It's nice and light. That's, that's key. We'll get into that later. Let's just do a quick walkthrough. Let's start with that. Okay. All right. Enough. We're having focus issues. We're focusing okay. My last video, my focus went wrong. I have a focus right input, but my focus went wrong. So maybe that, that's how they, I don't know. Okay, top to bottom, six tuners. These are Grover locking tuners. Uh, it's an interesting neck, a slim tapered neck, I think they call it. I'm probably gonna say all this stuff wrong, but then I'll fix it in the deep dive. It's got like one side that's a D shape and one side that's a C shape. So it's like they took two letters and stuck it together. I think they were just going through the alphabet. They're like A, B, C, D, and then there we go. Let's just, let's take the C, D, we'll do that. Um, going down, ebony fretboard. I've never had an ebony fretboard. That's really nice. I like these dark fretboards. Pro Bucker humbuckers. And this is where things get a little uh, more complex and why it's modern. Three-way toggle switch, but we've got three push pulls in here. Go through all the combinations. One's a coil splitter, two are phase shifter, phase reverser shifters. You know all that stuff that they do in Star Trek. All those things. That's, that's why it's here. Um, it's got a contoured heel, look at that. And it's weight relieved. It's got a, a relieved weight, so it's not heavy. I had, if you look at my channel and you go type in Epiphone or Gibson, my first Les Paul was an Epiphone Plus Top Pro, let's say five years ago. Is that long ago? 
And it was a lot heavier than this, but it was nice too. This one's a level up. It's got binding all over it. Enough about that. Let's get into the deep dive. Congratulations, you've made it to the deep dive. Here we're doing the neck measurements up at the nut. 1.68 roughly. Down by the 12th fret, 2.0 inches in case you can't see the measurement. And again, the light is blocking the screen. You know, 22 uh, down at the where it meets, well, where it ends, basically. And I just did a quick width measure, measurement uh, thickness. Is that right? Not width, thickness. 0 0.08. Okay, moving on. Let's uh, let's get the weight of this guitar. I'm already super impressed. When I picked it up, I was like, yes, it's one of these. It's a, not even eight pounds. That's awesome. That's that's not you know very commonly uh, Les Pauls can be very heavy unless they have the weight relief. So I'm happy with it. Here's the uh, resistance, and I'll just let you see the different ones there. I forgot to measure the uh, the coil splitting because. Uh, I couldn't actually figure out which was which, which knob was which while I was doing this because I didn't learn it until later when I was plugging it in. So you're not going to have those numbers. What are you going to do without those numbers? You're not going to be able to know the numbers so you can play things differently. Let's yank out these, uh, these uh, what are these called again? Humbuckers. Yeah, let's get these out. So you got to move the, the uh, scratch plate out of the way. It just slides out. Just loosen one of the screws. Inside the neck pickup, we got a PB2NH. BN-4, classic name. Everybody knows that name. Let's go into the bridge pickup. I'm sure you all know this name. Do I even need to tell you? You've got the, uh, come on, close up. Well, you already know what it is. It's the, the PB3NH BB4. Sounds like Star Wars characters. And uh, don't throw it in the garbage can. Shows right there. Giant garbage cans, don't do it. Throw it in small garbage cans, not those giant ones, and, and you'll be fine. So there we go, put it back together and we're, we're set. We're ready to go, clean it up. I'm just showing how I re-tighten the strings because this is fun to watch, right? Um, it's got the locking tuners, so I didn't even have to take the strings off, which is awesome, love it. So good, let's get inside the uh, guitar. Three screws on the back here going inside the switch control and um, nothing special, just, you know, pretty nice switch control. It feels good in the hands when I was, when I was switching the uh, controls. It doesn't feel cheap. Feels very, very normal. And here's the uh, the pots and the electronics inside. Look at that guy, he's trying to look inside. Look at this, it looks like a computer. Hey kid, stop all the downloading. I'm a computer. So, got some coil splitting circuitry and you got the uh, phase splitting, not phase splitting, phase shifting. There we go. This is again a modern take on the Les Paul. It's got pro bucker humbucking pickups. It's got an asymmetrical slim taper neck. So what that means exactly, I'll explain a little bit better. So on the base side, so the, the low E is a D shape. And then on the other side, the high E, they call it the treble side, it's a C shape. So the body type, it's a solid body weight relief. Body shape is a Les Paul modern. Body material is mahogany. Top material is maple. Body finish is gloss. The color is radio blue metallic. Uh, getting into the neck, the neck is mahogany, slim taper like I mentioned 18 times. Neck joint is a set neck, 12 inch radius. It's an ebony fingerboard, perloid trapezoids for the fingerboard inlays. It's got 22 frets, they're medium jumbo. The scale length is 24.75 inch. The nut width, which I measured and showed, was 1.693 inches. Nut material is a Graftec new bone. And uh, the bridge tailpiece is a Loctone ABR bridge with stop bar tailpiece. The tuners are Grover locking Rotomatic with tulip buttons. More specifically with the pickups, the neck pickup is a Pro Bucker 2 humbucker. The bridge pickup is a Pro Bucker 3 humbucker. And then you got two tone, two volumes, three way toggle. Uh, you got the push pull coil splitting on the volumes, phase shifting on the other knob. And it comes with Gibson 10 to 48. Nope, that's not a thing. It comes with Gibson 10 to 46 strings.
There you go. If I missed anything, leave me a comment if you wanted to know any specs, because I've got the guitar probably sitting here while I'm reading this comment that you're writing right now. And you're like, you didn't measure the thing, and I can go grab it and measure it and then type a comment. I can do that. It's like real life comment, real time things. Anyways, uh, this is the part of the video. Well, I just want to mention one thing. I didn't really get into why, why is this modern? Like, what's modern? And it's really, if you take the, uh, the classic series, or whatever they call it, the not modern ones. Locking tuners, slimmer neck, contoured heel, crazy electronics. I think that's the modern part, right? And weight relief, because I don't think, I think weight wasn't a concern back then or they didn't know how to do it. I don't know. This guitar goes for 649 US. In Canada, uh, the modern series is around, I'm gonna say 899 Canadian. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll look at getting a Gibson Les Paul standard again one day. <laughs> I looked at the price and I was like, Oh no, no, never mind. It's uh, or a modern. I'm like, maybe the modern's cool. The modern version of this, they don't make it in the same finish, right? But they have other ones. $29.99 American. That's $3,600 Canadian. So I was like, no, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons. We'll start with the pros. And I, I said this earlier, but what you're seeing here on camera, not me, the guitar. I was just gonna say it's so beautiful. But uh, enough about me. The guitar, it, this is what it looks like. This isn't just studio lighting. I've got this lighting set up to be like daylight for outside, 5600K Kelvins. So I got like so many Kelvins in here. Is that what the K stands for? Or is it Kellogg's Corn Flakes? And uh, this is what it looks like in real life. Cause I'm, I already said this, but I wanna, I wanna get that across because I find sometimes photos online or on like the Epiphone site, or even sometimes on Sweetwater, it doesn't totally capture, because it's one image, right? You're not seeing it moving around and stuff, so it can look very blue like that if you got a lot of direct light, but if you angle it a little bit, it goes into a radio blue, because that's what it is, radio blue metallic, just like the old radios, just like those metallic blue radios back in the day. No, back in the, fu in the future, sorry, this, what am I saying? That's what it is. There's no such, they haven't been invented yet. The modern, the modern blue radio metallics of these uh, future radios. I was doing pros, right? Fit and finish. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Um, I haven't done any super close lookups, but just like eyeballing it very quickly, everything's really, really nice. And this is my third inspired by Gibson guitar. I did two last year. I did a Les Paul Junior and a Les Paul Special in TV Yellow. Those are both awesome too. Those had like fat 50s necks, so I didn't end up keeping those ones, but they were really cool. They had P90 pickups. I was super impressed. I'm really impressed by the the, uh, the Epiphone guitars. They're they're really cool. And it's got the the different the newer headstock, well the newer Kalamazoo older headstock, right? That's what they call it. Uh, keep going on here. The pros, the tones. I really like the tones of these pickups. This is a rock guitar. Like this is not the guitar I'm gonna pick up when I want to play some mellow, uh, moody. Uh, soft stuff. I'll, I'll take a jazz master or you know one of my tellies or something for that kind of stuff. You put on the uh, the humbuckers in the bridge mode and uh, you strum an A chord just like just like uh, what was his name? Dr. Epiphone. Will, Will Jones or whatever his name was. Just do the A chord demos. 
I'm not much better, but I don't have a lab coat on, so I don't look like a doctor. What happened to that guy? Where's Dr. Epiphone? I already kind of mentioned or hinted at this, uh, the price. $6.99 or $6.49? Come on. Come on. Go. I'm not trying to sell this to you. I'm just saying, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get a Les Paul, you probably won't, you want to get a Gibson, right? But this is uh, the next best thing. And uh, if you can get over the, the name, it doesn't. It says Les Paul on it. It just it says Epiphany instead of uh, Gibson. Anyways, that's the pros. It's it's awesome guitar. Um, now the cons, and this this goes into the whole modern thing. This. Um, you saw the wiring when I opened it up. All the switches and the knobs and all this pushing and pulling and yanking and tugging and all that stuff. I could go without it. I could, uh, you could just give me a guitar with three-way switch, volume and tone for each pickup. I'd be happy. Be happy as a pig in mud. So yeah, that's really, that's my only con. Because uh, everything else is really nice. Handcrafted in China. Did I mention that? And a bunch of people are gonna go, oh, no. I get, I get it. People say that. So pros and cons. There you go. Do I recommend this guitar? Big blue, yes. Big blue metallic radio. Let me radio that to you. I'm gonna do a radio voice. Here's how. I, do I recommend this guitar in a radio voice? Big blue, yes. That was a good time. Hope you had a good time. All right, I didn't mention this. I should have mentioned it earlier. I do have affiliate links if you want to get this. This one's only available at Sweetwater, but I'll have links to, they do the, it's the modern, right? It's the Les Paul Modern from Epiphone. Inspired by Gibson. Gibson inspires you to buy this guitar. That's the idea, right? What else would that mean? It didn't inspire me to not buy it. Yeah, so you can use, uh, you can use my affiliate links. It supports my channel. Again, I've explained it before, but affiliate link, what it is, is it's a, it's an, a link it's a web link. When you click on it, it connects to my account. I have an account and then I get a perk. I get a little percentage, like a commission thing. And the price doesn't change for you. So it's just like, hey, I like, I like doing that thing. And I'm going to click that. And it doesn't matter to me. There you go. Also, if you're interested, I don't really mention this stuff too often, but I have a merch uh, tab. You can take a look there. I got shirts and t-shirts and stuff on Spring. It used to be called Teespring. Now it's Spring. They're just like Teespring. I think they wanted to get away from just the, the shirts. Now they make like uh, dog dresses and things like that. I don't know what they make. And then also check out guitartricks.com. I am affiliated with that as well. It's an online uh, learning platform, portal, tool. It's pretty cool. They got a lot of songs. I use it. I can check that out too. I'll turn this over to you. Have you played these modern Les Pauls? Do you prefer modern over classic? Or classical? Or modernal? Or classic? What is he saying? Stop it. Let's go. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these, these new ones. I think this blue is amazing. All right, that's gonna do it. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Right there.